Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. By the way, I'm Jocelyn Dion, a junior high school math teacher. For today's video, I'll be discussing to you about finding the common difference and the general or the end term of a sequence. Our main objectives are the following. First, we have find the common difference of a sequence and second is Find the general or end term of a sequence. Let us be guided with the guide questions and after watching this video, we should be able to answer all of these questions. First, how to find the common difference of a given sequence? Second, how to find the end term formula of a sequence? Now, let's begin with finding the common difference. If you are given a sequence 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and so on, and then you are tasked to find the common difference. How are we going to find the common difference? Okay, to find the common difference, all we have to do is to subtract any term by its preceding term. Okay, to elaborate that further, if you have here terms, Denoted by a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5, we can choose choose two consecutive terms in the sequence and subtract the succeeding term by the preceding term. So, for example, two consecutive terms, a sub 1 and a sub 2. So, succeeding term subtract by the preceding term so a sub 2 minus a sub 1 and then another is if you're going to pair a sub 2 and a sub 3 so you will have a sub 3 minus a sub 2 and if you will have a sub 3 and a sub 4 or the fourth term and the third term then you will have a sub 4 minus a sub 3 and lastly if we're going to have a sub 4 and a sub 5 we can have a sub 5 minus a sub 4. Okay, now let's have an example. Determine the common difference of a sequence 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and so on. So our first term is 9, our second term is 11, our third term is 13, our fourth term is 15, our fifth term is 17. Actually, even without the solution, you can determine the common difference between two consecutive terms. So, the interval from 9 to 11 is, of course, 2. But if we're going to have the solution, we will be having it in this way. a sub 2 minus a sub 1. So, substitute the value of a sub 2, which is 11. And then, substitute also the value of a sub 1, which is 9. So, 11 minus 9, we have 2 as our common difference. Now, we will have the a sub 2 and a sub 3. So, a sub 3 minus a sub 2. On the value of the third term is 13 minus the value of the second term, which is 11. So, 13 minus 11 is 2. So, we have now the common difference, which is 2. Next, when we're going to have a third term and fourth term, our fourth term is 15 and our third term is 3. So substitute 15 minus 13 is 2. So we have now the common difference of 2. Lastly, fifth term as well as the fourth term. So fifth term is 17. Subtract that by the value of the fourth term. So our fourth term is 15. So 17 minus 15 is 2. So if you have observed, the common difference that we obtain are the same. But remember, my dear students, that there are times that the common difference is not the same. They are not common. But for this video, we'll be focusing only sequence with common difference. And finally, you're going to make a conclusion. Therefore, the common difference of a sequence 9, 11, 13, 15, 17 is 2. Another example. 
Determine the common difference of a sequence negative 5, negative 8, negative 11, negative 14. So, the same process, we will have a sub 2 minus a sub 1, a sub 3 minus a sub 2, and a sub 4 minus a sub 3. So, substitute with the values. So, our a sub 2 is negative 8 minus our first term value is negative 5. So, negative 8 minus negative 5, and this will become negative 8 plus 5. And negative 8 plus 5, the answer is negative 3. So, we have now the common difference. Now, let's check with third minus the second term. Negative 11 is to our third term, and... Our second term is negative 8. So, negative 11 minus negative 8. So, this will become negative 11 plus 8. And negative 11 plus 8 is negative 3. And lastly, we have a sub 4, the fourth term minus the third term. The fourth term is negative 14 minus the third term, which is negative 11. So, negative 14 plus 11, the answer is negative 3. So, if you have observed, the difference between two consecutive terms is constant, which is negative 3. Now, don't forget to write the conclusion. Therefore, the common difference of a sequence negative 5, negative 8, negative 11, negative 14 is negative 3. So, since you already know how to find the common difference, now let's proceed with finding the general or n term of a sequence. Example 1. Find the general or n term of a sequence 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. Okay. We need to have the value of our common difference as well as the value of the first term. Okay. Based on the given sequence, our common difference is 2. So, how did we get 2? Of course, in the previous slides, we have second term minus the first term, third term minus second term, fourth term minus the third term, and fifth term minus the fourth term. Or you just try to check the difference between two consecutive terms is 2. So, we have the common difference of 2, and the first term is 9. Of course, 9 is the first term in the given sequence. So, we have now the value of the common difference and our first term. The next thing we're coming to do is to substitute to the general formula. By the way, this is the general formula when the sequence that we are dealing is a sequence with common difference. So, to find the n term, just substitute your first term by 9. Then, you just copy this one, quantity of n minus 1, and substitute your d. So, the value of d or the common difference is 2. So, we have 9, and then apply distributive property of multiplication. So, n times 2, we have 2n. And negative 1 times 2, we have negative 2. And simplify. So, this time, we have to combine similar terms. So, if you have observed, we only have similar terms, 9 and negative 2. So, you write that one, arrange that one in standard form. So, first degree term first, followed by the constant. So, we have to copy 2n, and then we have to simplify 9 and negative 2. So, 9 minus 2 is 7. So, therefore, our n term is a sub n equals 2n plus 7. So, this is now the, the general term or the n term of the given sequence 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. Another example, find the general or the n term of a sequence 
negative 6, negative 11, negative 16, negative 21, negative 26, and so on. So again, we need to have the value of the common difference as well as the first term. Our common difference is negative 5. So again, in the previous slides, we have studied how to find the common difference. So second term minus the first term. Third term minus second term. Fourth term minus the third term. Fifth term minus the fourth term. So when we are going to compute that, we have a common difference of negative 5. That's why we have negative 5 here as the value of our D or the common difference. And of course, you have to determine your first term. Always remember that the first term is the first number, the first value in the given sequence. So we have negative 6. And then you have here the formula. This is the general formula. a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 times d. So a sub n equals substitute the value of your a sub 1, which is negative 6. Plus, you just copy this one, quantity of n minus 1. So this time, the value of d is negative 5. Always remember, my dear students, that if the value of d is negative, do not forget to write the grouping symbol. Okay, next we have to apply the distributive property of multiplication. You just copy negative 6 and then you multiply n times negative 5. The answer is negative 5n and negative 1 times negative 5. The answer is positive 5. And this time we are going to combine similar terms. We can only combine negative 6 and 5. You just copy negative 5n. You write that one first because that is the first degree term. And then negative 6 plus 5, the answer is negative 1. So we have now the n term formula for the given sequence. So therefore, a sub n equals negative 5n minus 1 is the general or n term of a sequence. Negative 6, negative 11, negative 16, negative 21, negative 26. That's all for this day. Thank you. God bless you all.